AWF Championship Wrestling to your town. Contact the promoters of AWF Championship Wrestling at Post Office Box 223 Amory, Mississippi or telephone area code 601-256-4988 for complete information on how you can bring a fundraising event to your high school gymnasium or civic center. The address and phone number is on the screen now, so get in touch with AWF Championship Wrestling. and gentlemen, this is a special event. One fall or a 15-minute time limit. First of all, in the corner to my right, from Calhoun, Georgia, weighing in at 116 pounds, flying Eddie Dean. That's 216 pounds from Calhoun, Georgia, flying Eddie Dean. His opponent, weighing in at 255 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, the AWF North American Champion from New Jersey, Dick the Bulldog Brower. One fall, 15 minute time limit. Bulldog Brower is accompanied in the ring by his tag team partner, Brute Bernard. certainly does not have any friends in this town. He's been here before, you know. And I don't believe there was, there was anybody here would escort him out of Union. <laughs> Look at this, Drew Bernard right away going against... Think he is an old meanie. <laughs> He's a good wrestler, though. Look he throws, that, that, he throws that rule book right out the window, Carlisle. Completely right out the window. Look at Bulldog Brower now. Drew Bernard had absolutely no business whatsoever inside that ring. And Why now we finally get the Why did he belt, come out here? The belt and the jacket off of uh, Bulldog Brower and Eddie Dean hadn't had a chance to get his bat off his shoulder, Carlisle. <laughs> Brute was sort of holding his attention until his partner got in there, right? I'll guarantee you. And watch Bulldog Brower now. He goes right after young Eddie Dean. I noticed the belt Browers was wearing. Is that the North American Champion? That's the North American Championship, Carl Off. Just a minute. He's hollering Brower. I like what he has on the back of his windbreaker, Brower Power. That's right. Uh, <laughs> this uh, man has wrestled in Madison Square Garden many times, Carl Off. He's world renowned. He's been in Japan, he's been in uh, the Orient. Uh, uh -huh. He's been all over, and you'll never find slings young Dean in going in. Dean catches him with that big foot coming off that rope, slows Brower down, but only momentarily. And now he goes in. Hey, look at this. He's count of three. It's over. It's over. It's over. He's still the champion. Yes, sir, we right there, and it's over with in less time than it takes to tell it. The winner of the match is Bulldog Brower, and let's go to ringside. We're going to try to get Bulldog Brower over here to say exactly what he has to say. To try to get Bulldog Brower over here to say exactly what he has to say. Here comes Brower back across the arena. And we're trying to get him over here for an interview. Big jar. And we have pandemonium in that ring. Wrestling fans, this Brower is an absolutely wild man here. Brower is an absolutely wild man. Let's see if we can get Bulldog Brower over here. Let's see if we can get Bulldog Brower over here. Bulldog, 
Let me ask you, why do you resort to these tactics after you've already beaten a man? My man broke Bernard, and I hear to set this record straight. Crusaders, look out, Crusaders. Well, wrestling fans, there you have it from none other than Brute Bernard. And what can I say? Young Eddie Dean took a terrible beating there at the hands of Brute Bernard. And we'll be back, wrestling fans, with more right after this.